Finally. Now about that stew. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Now stay close to the dog, son. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Jack, he's on to something. Until the next time you meet? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. you never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you and Ma wanted me to read. Jack, there's one up ahead. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Let's go. Come on, I'll show you how to cut the meat. 
I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo! That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Come on, let's get this over with. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Come on. Go on, Rufus. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Bob. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, I know. I saw how you did it. You say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. That's it. Good boy. Slow. Go on, Rufus. You can find him, boy. You can do it, Rufus! What is it, Rufus? Whoa! There they are! Jack, come on! That's it, son. Stay calm. Get after him! Steady now. You can do this. Gotcha. Down you come. Come on. Come on. Yes. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did he see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Hey, mister. Well, let's see what you got. Uh, hello, Options to suit any pocket. I hope you enjoy a smooth I ride. That's all I got for you right now. Going. It's amazing. Dear sir, hello. What do you have? Uh, you're all set.
Martian. Good to see you. We have an array of options for you. Right, well, let's see what we can do for you. And there we are. Enjoy the journey. Thank you. I'd say you got yourself a bargain there. Happy trails. I always like All done. Let's head home. Fine evening to you. Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stew and pot for a couple days. Hey, what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk. You're growing up. I'm proud of you. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she can look after herself. She soon put those fellas in their place. I can only imagine. Yeah. Oh, Pa, that was so much fun. I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, and now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. 
Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. John, wait! Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on then, let's get going. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting unannounced. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where did they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the wait. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. It took longer than I thought. I think we should pick up the pace a little. The only thing Bill and Dutch was ever any good at was not getting caught. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goats manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing 
Even as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. chance to make it right. It's a pleasant ride and all, but I'd like to get back sometime today. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat.
ready to do. 